have a good day. Warning. The only time you fail is when you fail to try. Or when you try when you have no idea what the heck you're doing. Will the LAB succeed in its human Diet Coke and Mentos flying machine experiment? Probably not. Well, let's sit back, relax, and find out together. Enjoy. Have a good day. Now the other day as I was gloriously air drying my entire body utilizing this tornado fan, I thought to myself, hey, what a great idea for a fan appreciation video to try and replicate holding on to a tree during a high speed windstorm just like this photo here. But after searching the depths of the internet to try and find industrial sized high powered fans, I was met with some resistance from Samantha who worked for a fan company and she told me pretty much to get my body off of the ground, specifically, I would need a jet engine. Not to be discouraged because I don't have access to a jet engine, I started to pivot my idea in multiple different directions to where I was inspired by this photo right here, where a guy took a sweet pilot chair, a boatload of drone motors, and somehow was able to fly and lift his human body up in the air roughly 10 feet off the ground. And I thought to myself, I'd be back in the YouTube game if I created my own human flying machine. But after doing further research about drone motors, they are very heavily regulated. Quite possibly you may need a license to, to fly drones. They are very costly and expensive. And pretty much I have no idea how to solder all the wires together uh, to create one giant powerful uh, drone propeller machine. And after only seeing a handful of examples of people actually creating their own personalized human flying machines, uh, I realized that quite possibly it could be very dangerous uh, with fast moving propellers and very expensive. So I decided to pivot yet again into a final different direction. After three weeks of pivoting and trying to scientifically figure out how to lift a 260 pound human body using a flying hovercraft, I present to you quite possibly, probably not, but maybe the first ever Diet Coke and Mentos human flying machine. Now this idea has advanced from my initial blueprints to a second draft utilizing scientific mathematical calculations to determine the thrust needed to physically lift a human being off of the ground. To where my scientific mathematical calculations are me making everything up and hoping when it comes to launch time everything is going to work just fine. And here today Roughly 87 days after I signed half of my life away by getting married. I love you. All that I plan on doing is becoming the first human being in existence, hopefully, probably not, but maybe, to take flight and experience full airbound freedom as I blast off in my human Diet Coke and Mentos homemade flying machine. Why? Because I strive to test the human boundaries of scientific limits. On a daily basis to show people. I have no idea. But you know what? It's going to be an entertaining video as I try. So strap in as we go out to the garage and actually build this thing. Stay tuned. To start off this build, I tried to repurpose everything that I could find in the garage, including these two door posts that I once used to plow through four doors in 10 minutes. I have an electric saw, but uh, the, the piece of wood that I'm using for the base of this structure is too thick. That's what she said, that I actually had to saw through with my bare hands. Uh, and then I actually picked up these heavy ass cement buckets and carried them back into the garage like an absolute boss. Now pretty much as I had no idea what I was doing, I was attempting to try and create a square and or some sort of rectangle. Uh, and I guess as you can see right here, I decided on a rectangle shape. Um, I had not screwed anything into a piece of wood in a while, that's what she said. To where... Uh, okay. I'm not, I'm not very... Okay, so it's too much noise, too much Always noise. use eye protection when using saws. And as you can see right here, my drill skills uh, still pretty much suck. And we're gonna nail that one in, nail it on home. Okay. Uh, I actually found more wood in this old pallet that came with the house and I actually had to saw off all the nails uh, the rusted nails and screws that were in there but uh, those two pieces I actually had to use to even things out and level things out and that is where I was going to attach the, the plastic 2 liter Diet Coke bottle holders 
as you can see right here, I'm setting it up. Uh, and then you know what? Uh, towards uh, the the two crates in the middle, I actually switched out for two more red ones, just for aesthetic purposes at a later time. Uh, again, screwing screwing skills getting a little bit better here. Uh, and then I realized as I screwed this one in perfectly that I had a problem, um, as underneath all those screws um, were exposed. And if anything were to happen, uh, I would not want to get impaled by any of those screws. So I had to pick up the entire apparatus like an absolute boss. And I repurposed. Up, oh, yeah, that, those look a little bit sharp. Definitely looking sharp there. Uh, okay. And even though it looks like I fixed the problem here, I most likely probably didn't fix the problem whatsoever. Through my wife's awesome advice, I decided to utilize a trampoline and jump up into the middle of this apparatus uh, in one way that I made sure that I would not fall through is to take this heavy... That was the drill. Okay, there's a lot of noise. Okay. Just wait till I'm done. Okay. All right, there's a lot of heavy nylon to where my body weight would be, as you can see right here. Um, it's enough to hold my body. And in the grand scheme of things, I don't know what that means. For some added flair, I thought, why not add these sweet hinges which serve no purpose? I then decided to geniusly repurpose some old door hinges that were... Okay. Right, the drill, stupid... Okay, the drill. Uh, to uh, repurpose some old door hinges that were going to be utilized to attach this to the actual launch pad. It's looking pretty shiny. And as you can see right there, that's exactly how I had it in my mind the entire time. And then on the other end, I still had a little bit of work to go, but you're about to see how this all ended up working out. Now what I did next, uh, on top of those yellow nylon things that were going to hold my body weight for extra cushioning, I screwed in a whole bunch of pool noodles that were repurposed from when I, uh, at the time, set the Guinness World Record for walking the farthest distance barefoot on Lego bricks, where it felt like I was walking up broken, jagged pieces of glass. And here it is. The final, finished, apparatus of the human Diet Coke and Mentos flying machine, minus uh, 62 bottles, uh, 2 liter bottles of Diet Coke and Mentos. A, a thing of beauty in my opinion, and as, I, as I'm sitting here watching it right now as I can't speak. Hey little buddy. You have no idea that you are standing next to greatness, my friend. The final step that I have to do uh, in the steps and processes of what I have no idea what the hell I'm doing uh, is load all of these Diet Coke and Mentos bottles. All right. Then I fold one piece over, I fold this piece over like that. All right, so it's getting getting a whole lot better, uh, as you can see. Tape it right on the inside so it stays. Uh, and then it, when it comes down to it, it's uh, I have to now use a towel to just literally tighten this as strong as my ginormous arms can tighten it. There we go. Uh, and that is the final product. And I've been doing this for the past three hours. Uh, and I think we got about like 18 left, so we're almost there. We somehow uh, have finished prepping the bottles, and now I'm going to have to get down on my hands and knees. I just ripped, I just ripped my pants. Uh, and then we're going to somehow, using duct tape, attach each of these bottles. I have to like shake it up, uh, and then like duct tape it, and then, uh, you know what, as long as I can somehow get the bottles to stay, my goal is to get all of these taped ASAP. Okay, great, with, with safety in mind. Now my first main concern was as I was shaking the two liter bottles that the Diet Coke and Mentos would cause the bottle to explode, uh, which it did not, thank goodness. But then my second concern was as I was actually loading these things onto the apparatus, I was making sure to not even come close to having any of my body parts stay under that thing for too long. All right, so now I'm gonna repeat that process 61 more times. Hopefully before it... I think it's just passing. I think we're good. And as you can clearly see, the rainstorm did not pass. So what I had to do, because I had so many bottles to load, 
was load the bottles underneath this tarp. Uh, and then I called it a day. Uh, and here I was the next day. The, the weather was a whole lot nicer, uh, which allowed me, uh, even though, again, I had no idea what I was doing, to tape these things to the bottom of the apparatus. All right, we have a change of plans here. So far, we have this many bottles loaded. Uh, and I don't know if you can see it, but this side, not as much, but this side is kind of bending in. Uh, and for the sake of actually being able to get a launch off, I've decided to go with 48 total two liter Diet Coke and Mentos bottles. Uh, and just the bottles alone, 48 of them weighs 211.02 pounds. For the sake of getting the inaugural launch done, I think 48 bottles is a solid, solid benchmark and starting point. So I'm gonna finish loading, suit up, game on, then game over. Good day, LA Beast here, and today is Tuesday, May 17th, 5.15 p.m. EST, Standard Time Zone. And what I have built behind me is reminiscent of back when I was in eighth grade in LEGO Logo class. Me and my buddy Chris actually built a tank uh, of an electronic LEGO vehicle. And in the first round bracket, uh, the Chris gave me control to like try and win the match, and I drove our tank off the table. Uh, and somehow, some way, 24 years later, I feel like the same thing could quite possibly happen with this first ever inaugural human Diet Coke and Mentos human flying machine experiment. What? Because I'm the LA Beast. Can I do I, Because I'm the LA Beast. <sighs> <laughs> Okay, nothing like getting coke up your nose. We're not gonna restart this. Again, my legitimate fear was having those bottles explode on my body, so I added this door for extra protection. I am the LA Beast. Have a good day! As you're about to see, I definitely hit the side of my leg. I definitely hit the side of my leg. I hit the side of my leg. Not to be discouraged, I gave everything a second chance. And pretty much just a little sli Okay, I'm slamming onto the door. And here it is in slow motion, the GoPro slam door. Laying there. Realizing I was quite possibly fighting a losing battle, I decided to give it one final try. Like an absolute fail. Okay, okay, fail. Failing. Okay. Slamming. Probably didn't feel good. Pretty surprised that that didn't sound good. And this is the exact point that I realized it's not working. So let's, you know what, uh, let's, let's just see what happened. Let's see where we went wrong. Ah. Okay. Ugh. 
that definitely gave way though that, that's a positive thing that gave way all right so you know the positive thing here is the support systems that the apparatus was resting on gave way uh, and then pretty much after that as you can see right there that is, that is not what I expected to have happen now we have all the coca-cola bottle now th those are actually in the ground that can't be good so on that note uh, if you're wondering where I've been on social media for the past 87.36 days exactly here here what here I was So what I have done is go out and somehow purchase 74 2 liter bottles of Diet Coke which roughly weighs, uh, each 2 liter is 4.4 pounds so I purchased 325.6 pounds of Diet Coke and I only spent $97.24 uh, so if that show Extreme Couponing ever comes back on air sign me up uh, and just in case you're wondering what 74 bottles of 2 liters look like I'm about to show you uh, which I, I've, I had to take many trips. As you can see right there, it's a boatload of two liter Diet Cokes. Alrighty, uh, we got our Diet Coke two liters there. And then we have a whole table full of Diet Coke. Just for the record, whenever I'm at the gym, I am never that guy that makes noises while lifting weights. I think I just did it here for a dramatic effect. But you know what? Uh, quite honestly, 4.4 pounds for, for every 2 liter Diet Coke bottle. You too can also make a pretty decent, a pretty, okay, Jesus, pretty decent deadlift machine. I look like uh, Ogre from uh, whatever that movie is, Revenge of the Nerds. Well, if anything, I just built a deadlift rack.